Former British Prime Minister Tony Blair still stands by taking down Saddam Hussein, but years after the 2003 U.S.-led invasion of Iraq, Blair told CNN's Fareed Zakaria he is sorry for some things, like bad intelligence reports on weapons of mass destruction that never materialized. I can also apologize, by the way, for some of the mistakes in planning and certainly our mistake in, in, in our understanding of what would happen once you removed the regime. Blair also took some blame for the volatile situation in Iraq today, including the rise of the Islamic State. Of course, you can't say that those of us who removed Saddam in 2003 bear no responsibility for the situation in 2015. But it's important also to realize, one, that the Arab Spring, which began in 2011, would also have had its impact on Iraq today. And two, ISIS actually came to prominence from a base in Syria and not in Iraq. More than 3,000 U.S. service members are still in Iraq, helping Iraqi forces. According to the website Iraq Body Count, more than 4,000 U.S. troops were killed during the Iraq War. Britain, a key U.S. ally, lost 179.